Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain how a car's starter motor works. The starter motor is started from the ignition switch or the key. The electrical circuit is split into two parts. The main live feed, which runs directly from the battery positive to the starter motor and is earthed by the housing. These use large cables, which are capable of carrying up to 400 amps. The other half is the ignition switch. This utilizes smaller wires and is known as the low current circuit. The solenoid is just like a relay. It uses a low current circuit to, sw to switch on a high current circuit. From the ignition switch, the driver starts the process of engaging the starter motor, which in turn rotates the engine, enabling the engine to start. Current flows from the battery via the ignition switch and onboard computer to the starter solenoid. The current actuates the solenoid, which is housed on top of the starter motor, and the current creates a magnetic field. Inside, a magnetic coil is pulled into the magnetic field. The coil movement sets a lever mechanism in motion. The engaging lever presses the starter pinion in towards the flywheel ring gear. This is the toothed area around the outside of the flywheel. To prevent the pinion gear teeth from pressing onto and damaging the ring gear teeth, the pinion is driven by a thrust screw motion, meaning it turns as it's engaged. The teeth screw into the ring gear teeth gaps, and this allows for smooth and precise engagement. This common type of starter motor is known as a pre-engaged thrust screw drive starter. When the ring gear and pinion completely mesh, the starter has engaged. At this point, the magnetic coil in the solenoid reaches its final position. It pushes against the contact plate, which closes the circuit between the battery and the starter motor. The current now flows from the battery to the starter motor via a large cable or wire at the starter motor. It is earthed, as I said before, via the housing of the starter motor. The current causes the motor to spin. The spinning motion is transferred to the pinion. The pinion turns the flywheel, which in turn drives the crankshaft and the engine rotates and starts. This all happens within a few seconds. When the engine is started, it will now rotate a lot faster than the starter motor pinion. This high engine speed could over rev the starter motor and cause damage. To prevent this from happening, the pinion is disengaged by a free wheel. driver releases the starter button or key, the electronic circuit between the battery and the starter motor is interrupted. Modern vehicles control this electronically by measuring the engine speed. A return spring inserted inside the solenoid pushes the magnetic coil back to its initial position. The solenoid de-energizes and the motor contacts open, causing the motor to stop rotating and the lever mechanism pulls the pinion back to its rest position. Power is transmitted from the starter motor via a gear wheel to the vehicle's engine. Within this process, transmission ratios play an important role. Depending on different engines and starter motor combinations, different transmission ratios are applied. While a small starter pinion has to rotate 10 times, the large ring gear of the flywheel only rotates once. This gives the crankshaft a low speed but high torque, enabling the engine to turn over just enough to start combustion. Vehicle engines which require more force to be rotated need to work with a stronger starter. There are two possible ways to do this. It is either possible to install a larger starter motor or install a starter motor with additional transmission gearing. Because of its design, the most suitable solution here is the use of planetary gear sets. These are commonly found in the use of automatic transmissions. This type of gear set consists of several gear wheels. The sun gear is at the center and is driven 
by the starter motor shaft. The planet gears in the middle circulate on the teeth of the fixed ring gear on the outside. They transfer the force to the shaft of the mounted shaft starter pinion. This is how the planetary gear set converts the high motor speed to a low speed with more torque. The pinion itself is therefore subject to higher forces. That's how even a small starter motor can start an engine without any problems. Well that's it, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do comment, rate and subscribe.